and uh, Kim Eames and Elise Iria and uh, Emily Porter. We're about to drop the green flag if you want to have a crack there, so. All right, and underway, and Fleur Heine will be uh, tough to get in front of. You know this track very well on that Commodore. It's um, looking like a pretty tidy start. Georgette tucking in behind there, everybody getting sorted out. Already spreading out early, only in the half, the first uh, half of the lap, and Georgette really having a crack there. It's pretty brave on, the, on lap one, which is typically a bit wet, so therefore Fleur safely uh, staying in front, but fairly competitive as we clear the first lap. Timmy coming through in third. And got the Cooney car there bringing up the rear, the big V8. I saw that flying around a corridor a few weeks ago. That thing gets seriously mobile. So Fleur Heiner showing a clean set of heels at the moment. But uh, you'll notice that the vehicles will get much, much quicker as the night goes on. You can see Fleur's car a little pushy just because the track's wet. A little bit of uh, confusion there in terms like a can of paint there, struggling to stay on the track. Georgette tucking in behind Fleur. And Elise uh, all on her own there in third place. Georgette having another crack round the outside. And it is the long way round, as you would well imagine. And you can see it's very hard to get drive out there early. That may come to us a bit later in the evening. But she's really having a stab down the main street. It tips it in. And looks like she may just pull the pass off. Does it cleanly as Fleur just tucks it in the pole line of Georgette. Races out there, hangs the back end a little bit in the big Commodore 82 entry. And looks like she's now got the race line she wants, so now she's in a better spot there on what we call the pole line, which is the inside. Still a bit slippery, but she's getting away from Fleur Heiner quite comfortably now, opening up the gap. And the lease there in M10 still flowing, showing a clean set of heels in third, Kimmy and fourth, and the Goonie vehicle. Uh, running a little bit behind at the moment with Emily uh, Porter at the wheel there but Georgette's really starting to get some sting happening now you can hear it really got her foot down there that, even in that three or four laps the, uh, that water will come off the top of the track they will get better drive and uh, the lap times pick up remarkably quickly and you can see that uh, Georgie really pulling away and Flo struggling to actually catch her and she's going to uh, be battling with, with Elise here at the moment if she's not careful Georgie really putting her foot down at turn four getting a good run down the main it's all pretty clean running at the moment the Elise starting to close the gap a little bit on second there incident free thus far. His Georgie is really getting up and down. She's found her groove there and uh, really got a little bit of understeer there around that three and four. So shown the white flag there for Georgie one lap to go. So she's coming up on lap traffic now and uh, probably would be wise to just uh, she won't know that, of course, with no mirrors. She may uh, well indeed think that Fleur's completely on a bumper. And if you wonder why people uh, pull up passes on the last lap, it's because they have no idea they're that far in front. In big trouble there at four and into the concrete. And she has not made the finish line. Wow, that's very, very disappointing <laughs> for Georgette. And that will be a red, I would reckon. And uh, it was so exciting, I missed something happening up at three and four there as well. So that's remarkably disappointing for Georgie. And uh, hopefully she's...